First of all, amazing job on the film. Congratulations on the performance. And a hell of a story, man. This is a crazy story. Um, so this happened four years ago. And that f this has to be the quickest turnaround of a, something like this happening to, a, to going to a novel and then to a film. Uh, in those four years, can you talk to me, John, about your experience, how it's been in the last four years? It's been crazy. Hey, it really has been, you know. The, the, this whole process we weren't expecting. Like, honestly, we, we didn't go out searching to get this to be made a film. It was simply, you know, just put in our lap, you know, the timing and seeing God's orchestrating it all, it, it was amazing. You know, from Pastor Samuel Rodriguez taking us to TBN and us meeting Devon and getting to talk to him for 45 minutes and not having a clue who he was. Really? You know, yeah, exactly. Like, uh, really, I mean, we had no idea. We just thought, we honestly thought he was the green room host. Because really? He, yeah, he was so nice to us. He was feeding us. He was making sure we had everything. He wasn't, Caring for himself, he was making sure we were okay. And when we were telling him the story, we just thought we were being able to like ministry to someone, you know, talk to him, tell him the story. And then after the whole conversation, after 45 minutes, he reaches his hand across to all three of us and he says, I'm Devon Franklin and I just produced the movie Miracles from Heaven and I would like to do your film next. So That's we're all right. sitting there going, okay, <laughs> so it's the book which came out, we had a script like the next year and then that came out and now we're here sitting talking about the movie coming out in here next two week or so. Uh, Marcel, after meeting John, uh, what were some of the qualities that you saw him that you wanted to bring to your performance? Well, his relationship with his mom uh, and his parents, um, the process of, of how he changed before the accident and after the accident. And of course, his relationship with his friends and how, how he, to show that love of basketball, because I, I love basketball in, in real life. So it's been a dream of mine to be able to play it in, in a movie and how competitive he is is how competitive I am in real life. So, but the thing that I, that I loved about this story is how you can see how he changes before the accident and after the accident. And it's, it's a full process. Um, and you know, at, at first the, the character of John in the movie, he, he's kind of lost. He doesn't know if, if his parents want him and, and he's getting into fights at school and not doing well. So after the accident, it's just beautiful how, how he knows that his parents care for him. They love him, he has a purpose in life and that the whole community came together for him. Now, a lot of the, uh, the supporting characters I love as well, like Tommy and the Doctor, yeah. um, we see a lot of cinematic superheroes on screen nowadays, but what, do, what does this film have to say about real life heroes? You know, it, it just proves that they risked their life for people daily. I, you know, uh, Tommy Shine, we are still very close, the real really? Tommy Shine, and he still comes to me, he says, I'm still on call. I still get to wit witness some of the good, and, but mostly bad. So it's just, for this film, it's just nothing but respect for them. It puts into light what they do and that even though it can come out in a great way like Breakthrough did, there's also some really hard, hard struggles that that though, that are the men and women that serve us daily and risk their lives, they go through. Sure. And, and on top of that, they have a family. Um, you have some great ball handling skills. I'm just gonna say that right now. Thank you. Uh, and you're, I know that you're coaching as well now. Yes, Do you have yes. any advice for him for oh, no. through his uh, performance? Um, <laughs> well, here's the deal. So. Trey Young and Jordan McCabe's uh, trainer trained me back in St. Louis. So I've been trained by some of these NBA trainers. And, well, I hooked him up with his trainer for Pure Sweat Basketball, and they're a great yeah, organization and facility. And, you know, he's, he's really talented. And I'm curious to see where he's going to end up in the next couple of years. Maybe college. We'll see. We'll I see. hope.